Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to a now rare post narrated video in a battle from the 19th of September wherein I was trying to finish up my automatic 7662 APFSDS compilation video, which, as you might imagine, didn't happen. Otherwise, this would be the battle at the end of the automatic 7662 video. So, as you can see here, there's a hind coming, and uh, I could not get a radar lock on him despite trying. Even though I could see him on the radar, it would not give me a lock on him. So I'm trying to free fire at him, and I didn't quite get the range down before he made it behind those hills there. So pumped off a few more proximity rounds at him, hoping they would hit him, but I, I couldn't tell what the distance was. And then he got away. And you'll notice that the uh, mustard yellow Mars Rover pictures overall tint to the gameplay here definitely affected things. And then I get a radar lock on this guy, because I guess I was looking more flat level rather than downwards at him so the, i guess there was less ground interference i don't know anyway didn't get hits on him either so it wasn't exactly the start i wanted um but anyway as i called this this time eight is enough and the last time i used eight is enough it was eight is not enough that was uh when my so you can see we've got uh, three helicopters back here now there's one going down the first one I was shooting at and he just got taken out and as I switch back over to this guy he gets me too he was barely lifting off of their airfield the helicopter runway so not a great start in the automatic just couldn't ever get anything locked up in time to uh, get good rounds at it but oh well came back in my Ariete PSO once the game let me respawn and then we moved out, and you'll see right there, that automatic to the right there, Sheldon Cooper, keep an eye on him in the kill feed, as he had a much better day in his automatic than I did in mine. And as I'm trying to make my way around this Leopard 2A5, who could not make up his mind about where he wanted to drive, and kept every single move he made, blocked me off here until I finally got away from him and got around him, and then we're pinned down by another helicopter here. But luckily, the helicopter was not firing his missile at me, so I was able to get past him. And I uh, had to steer out a bit around these two here. We had far too many people camping just outside of our spawn exit there, but it ended up working out. So, make it up onto the train tracks, and uh, eventually, when I get my tank accelerated here, make it into the A point and capture it and there's another helicopter shot down for our boy Sheldon he really really did a good job for us in this battle as you'll see at the end so as I was starting to say slight spoilers here but uh, the last time I used the 8 is enough the video was called when 8 is not enough and as this one is called this time 8 is enough last time we lost this time obviously things are going to be different so minor spoilers there we're going to win this battle but we've really barely begun, so... Now that we captured the A-point, it was time to decide where we're going now. There's another helicopter for our boy Sheldon. And you can see that it seems most of the enemy force went between Bravo and Charlie, or probably all at Charlie, so they could then go north of Charlie and push into our spawn. So... I'm heading towards Bravo, and there we go. There's contact moving from Charlie into Bravo, so I had chosen the right way, although I sort of clipped a building on my way there. And you can see they're pretty much moving in force in on our... in on Bravo here. So come around the corner, I can see an enemy marked. Look for him, can't quite see him. And he's on the other side of the fountain, so moving into where I can see him and get a beautiful sight picture on that T-80B that was trying to knock out our buddy at the end of the road. Detonated his ammo. Saved our Type 90. And we had already captured Bravo, it was still being held, so I just carried on through and continued around up towards Charlie. Unfortunately, there's a, another tank right on top of our Type 90, but I was already moving past him. And it was a good thing I did, because, oh, this shot was beautiful. Mmm! Right into a missile and one tap and eight ats. That's a good feeling. Can hear another tank coming, so turn around and get ready for him. There he is, T-80. Knocked out his breach and his gunner and his gun barrel. He's pretty much toast. 
And then, as if to say, please end my misery, he gives me his ammo carousel as a very clean shot, and that was that. Unfortunately, he had some buddies coming up behind him that I couldn't see in all the trees and shadows and yellow mustard sunshine, so there we go. Hit my engine and then hit in the turret, and then before I can even get my machine guns lined up on the guy. Yeah, BMP2 with APDS is unfortunately a pretty tough thing to survive if it's shooting at the back of your tank. But luckily I'm driving Italy and I've got Ariettes upon Ariettes upon Ariettes. And what's this? They're taking Alpha. Eventually, when the game finally lets me respawn, after the counter counts down to zero and then still doesn't let me respawn, I noticed that uh, we've got plenty of guys on top of Alpha, and the bigger problem is all the enemy SPAA that are driving right into our spawn up here at the north next to Charlie, so I'm going to go that way. And there they are. They're showing up on the uh, base defensive perimeter trip flare system. And uh, there they are. We've knocked a couple of them out, but they're killing our tanks up there too. And there we go, there's one in sight. Knock him out with a shot right through the crew in the turret. That's another one down. That's a couple of annoying SPAA dealt with in this battle. And then it seems like we cleared them all out of here and a, as generally goes, an early push into the enemy spawn when the enemy is still at strength leads to all of you dying and then there being nothing in between the capture points and now your spawn and that is what happened to them and there's the BMP2 that got me knocked out by our friend the Type 90 and then we got to move into Charlie unfortunately they started taking Bravo there was still somebody else over there besides the BMP2 so I elected to leave the Leopard and the Type 16 coming up behind him here to take Charlie, and I pushed in to try and stop them at Bravo before they could get it captured and secured. So after I broke through every light pole and other obstacle on the way to get from Charlie to Bravo, and curved my way around a few more buildings here, I like that, I don't know if you noticed that, but the sign I just drove past was bank and hamburgers. I, <laughs> generally not something you see in America. And here we are, another ADATS that I can take out. And I hit him in his last missile left in his rack and all it did was destroy it, so unfortunately. By the time I reload, he gets taken out by a Leopard 2A4, but that was fine. An ADATS dealt with is an ADATS dealt with, so. Little arty for cover on our buddy who's capturing Charlie. And then what's this I see in the smoke? Why, it's an Abrams. And yes, what a lovely shot that was. Got three of his crew in one shot. Put some distraction smoke here to drive past it and hide behind the uh, statue. But unfortunately, that didn't quite work. And also, unfortunately, I only got his engine, transmission, and fuel tank, so... And here comes our BMP-2 friend in a backup BMP-2. So, that kind of sucks. But hey, I've got another Ariete to bring, so here we go again. And luckily all my Arietes have at least DM-33 rounds in them, so... I've got capable ammo in all of my toppest tier Italian tanks right now. Including my Centaur Romor, that's also got DM-33s. So I've got some pretty good ammo in uh, all my high tier Italian vehicles, including my automatic now. So I put artillery on Bravo where I know the BMP is, and I got about six hits on him with artillery. But apparently they were all just tiny shrapnel hits that were bouncing off his hull or something? I don't know. But... We've got decent control on Charlie. We've got Alpha pretty well held, although they're challenging Alpha directly. And I'm moving in on Bravo, and what do I find around the corner but our friend, the BMP-2. A little bit of sweet revenge on him there. And back into Bravo we go. There's our friend who was previously in the Type 90 suit beer, and now in the Type 89. And I pull up around the corner here. Move in to start capturing, coming up to cover down the road here. And as soon as this Bradley comes around the corner here, 
through the smoke, immediately takes out my gun. As soon as he's around the corner. So I'm trying to hit him in the missile rack, which he's already fired all of his missiles at me. Thankfully, they hit my turret. Turret armor. And I don't know if he fired his gun empty or that Kugelblitz took out his gun or his gunner, but he stopped firing at me at least, which gave me time to start every single repair and reload and battery and everything in the books there. Something took out our Kugelblitz, unfortunately. And it seems like my uh, frontal turret armor, the face of my turret front here, actually saved me a couple times. I managed to get reloaded, get a shot into him, set him on fire, and then back away while the smoke is reloading, put some artillery fire on him. And then, wouldn't you know it, right as my smoke is clearing and I check around, there comes an XM1 around the corner, and his first shot is right into my breach again. So the Type 89 left and went around to my right to head down and go in after the Bradley. So I was hoping that he would be able to come and help me, but he took off to go after the Bradley, so that's fine. And I've got a teammate back behind me, but he's watching up to the north, I think. So I'm kind of on my own, but thankfully I'm inside the capture point and able to keep firing smoke rounds off and just hold on long enough so that I could... Uh, get repaired, get a shot into him, knock out his driver and his gunner, pull forward out of the smoke again, and finish him off as my friend in the Type 89 took out the Bradley. So it all worked out. It was a little uh, little frustrating taking hit after hit after hit there, but the smoke reload managed to uh, save me. And then we moved on. The Type 89 did a good job there chasing down the uh, Bradley that I had marked and swooping around him, taking him out. Now somebody has taken Charlie, and it turns out to be that Type or T-55 AM-1 there. Got a nice, clean shot right through his hull there. Took him out, and there was kill number eight. And it was a matter now of just the enemy tickets are down far enough that we just need to hold on to two points, and if I can get into Charlie and decap it, so much the better. They don't have a whole lot left. But our boy Sheldon held on to the A-point, not quite single-handedly, but uh, did a large lion's share of it there with his automatic. Now you can see a tank being taken out just past Charlie. I swung up here just to make sure he really was dead and really was not alone. He looked like he was alive still, but I put machine gun rounds in him just to verify, and he was in fact down. So they're getting Charlie. They finally took down our boy Sheldon. Actually, no, they didn't. He just left the cap. They didn't kill him. And it was that right now it was just a race between am I going to get the point captured with the guy helping me or is the enemy tickets going to run out? And just as it looked like we were actually going to get the cap, eh, the battle ended, which was totally fine. An extra cap would have been nice, but eight kills, three assists, two captures. That's an all right battle in my book. Particularly because it ended in a victory. And 12,000 RP towards my uh, Sidon Mistral is always nice. So not bad, not bad at all. And as you can see there at the top, Sheldon did quite a good job. So thank you all very much for watching. And a huge thanks, I keep forgetting to do this, huge thanks to my Patreons. My uh, Patreon page is down in the description. Uh, you get extra early access to my videos, and it's a really big help, and I really, really do appreciate all my Patreons who are on there every month. So thank you guys very much. And as for everyone else who watched the video, thank you. I appreciate that too. We'll see you next time and have a great rest of your day.